The Delcarimi 39MT starter family offers select part numbers with a rotatable mounting flange that can be rotated or clocked to take the place of many other fixed mounting flange starters. These part numbers can reduce your inventory while also maintaining coverage for virtually every application on the road today. There are three key steps to keep in mind when clocking the starter. Obtaining the correct solenoid position, repositioning the integrated magnetic switch or IMS if needed, and the position of the drain holes. These three steps ensure that you clear any obstruction that may hinder the starter from being mounted and allow the starter to drain condensation properly. The location of the drainage holes is important because if the drainage holes aren't in the right location, the starter can take on water, which can lead to corrosion, contamination, and early failure. Make sure that at least one drain hole is facing down, which typically means that the solenoid is on top of the starter. However, there are some starter models that have the six drain holes located on the same side as the solenoid. In these instances, the solenoid will be mounted in the down position. Now let's discuss two ways that you can clock the starter to fit your specific application. The first way involves removing the old starter and placing it on a workbench with the drive end housing facing towards you. This is the end where the starter pinion gear is visible. Next, place the new rotatable flange 39MT starter next to the old starter in the same orientation on the workbench in front of you. If the three larger mounting holes are in the same place on both starters, then you will not need to clock the new starter. But if they are different, remove the six torque screws on the front mounting flange and turn the mounting flange until it mirrors the old starter mounting flange. Once you reach the desired position, then reinstall the six torque screws and you're done. Now let's look at the second way to clock a starter. If you don't have the old starter, hold the new starter up near the mounting area. Look for any obstruction that could possibly interfere with mounting the starter in its current position. If there is an obstruction, hold the starter in the position that it will need to be mounted and remember that position. Then place the new starter on the workbench and perform the steps for clocking that were explained earlier in this video. Remove the six torque screws, turn the mounting flange, and reinstall the six torque screws. After properly clocking the starter to the correct position, mount the starter to the application. Whichever method you use as you're installing the starter, be sure to follow the instruction sheet and recommended torque specifications for the starter mounting bolts. Some applications require an additional step in order to properly clock and mount a rotatable flange 39MT starter because they have a much tighter fit between the frame rail and engine. As a result, the IMS needs to be moved to a different location on the starter. If a properly clocked starter is not mountable due to interference of the IMS position, follow these steps. First, remove the two mounting screws on the IMS. Second, follow the wire leads from the IMS to the starter and solenoid. Then loosen terminal nuts that go to each corresponding IMS lead. This will allow more flexibility when repositioning the IMS. Next, move the IMS to one of the six mounting locations around the solenoid and starter motor body. Step four, install the two IMS mounting screws and tighten the manufacturer's recommended specifications. Tighten the terminal nuts that were loosened earlier in step two. And finally, reinstall the starter and check for proper position of the mounting flange and the IMS to make sure it is free from any obstruction. If you have any questions, visit us at delcoremi.com or contact us at the number listed on the screen.